How would you like to see a movie about a badass vampire hunter who is half human, half vampire himself? A movie that will reboot one of the most iconic characters in Marvel Comics and introduce him to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. A movie that will be set in Paris, where a vampire outbreak has quarantined the city and turned most of its inhabitants into bloodsuckers. Bassam Tarek was the director and co-writer of Mogul Mowgli, a rap drama starring Riz Ahmed that was well received by critics and audiences. He was hired to direct Blade in September 2022 after the project had gone through several rounds of script rewrites. However, Tarek left the project in September 2022 due to creative differences with Marvel Studios and Mahershala Ali, who plays Blade. The exact nature of these differences is not clear, but some sources suggest that Ali was unhappy with the original shooting script and wanted to make it more faithful to the comic book character. Tarek's departure caused a delay in the production of Blade, which was originally scheduled to start in November 2022 in Atlanta. Marvel Studios then searched for a new director and found Jan Dumange, who is an acclaimed filmmaker known for his work on 71, Lovecraft County, and The Guilty. Dumange replaced Tarek as director of Blade on November 2022. He also brought on Michael Starbury as a new writer for the film. Starbury is a former TV writer who has worked on such shows as True Detective and The Sinner. Dumange's vision for Blade is said to be more grounded and realistic than Tarek's. He wants to explore Blade's dual heritage as a half-human, half-vampire hybrid and his connection to Paris, where the vampire outbreak has quarantined the city. He also plans to make use of Arcane Studios' art style and innovation for the film's visuals. The movie does not have a release date yet, but it was announced at San Diego Comic-Con 2022 as part of the celebration of Blade's 50th anniversary. The movie is still in early development, so no more details and footage are expected to be revealed in the future. However, some sources suggest that the movie might be released on September 7 or February 14, 2024. Marvel Studios have not yet confirmed these dates. Blade is half-human, half-vampire hybrid who hunts down vampires with his sword and sunglasses. He is one of the most iconic characters in Marvel Comics, created by writer Marv Wolfman and artist Gene Colan in 1973. Another hint is that Blade was originally supposed to appear in the post credit scene of Eternals, where he would speak to Dane Whitman, who is the Black Knight, a character who has a connection to the Ebony Blade, a mystical sword that can kill vampires. However, this scene was cut and replaced by another one, where Blade's voice is still heard but not seen. This implies that Blade is already active in the MCU and might cross paths with Morbius or other characters in the future. In the final moments of Eternals, Dane Whitman, Kit Harrington, is seen speaking with a sword, something that might seem strange to viewers unfamiliar with the comic book curse of the Ebony Blade. The Ebony Blade is a mystical sword that can kill vampires and other supernatural beings, but it also drives its wielder insane every time it draws blood. Morbius and Blade could potentially face off each other in the MCU, as there are some hints and connections between their movies. For example, in the Morbius trailer, there is a poster of Spider-Man with the word murderer on it, which refers to the events of Spider-Man Far From Home, where Spider-Man was framed for killing Mysterio. There is also a cameo of Michael Keaton, who played the Vulture in Spider-Man Homecoming, and is rumored to reprise his role in Morbius. These suggest that Morbius is set in the same universe as Spider-Man, who is also part of the MCU. The Eternals post credit scene also introduces Mahershala Ali's Blade to the MCU for the first time, with the actor providing a voiceover cue. Ali was officially cast as Blade in 2019 and will receive his solo movie in 2024. The voiceover cue hints at Dane's future role as Black Knight, a descendant of Sir Percy of Scandia, who was one of the original Black Knights created by Marvel Comics in 1955. Black Knight inherited a magical sword from Merlin himself, which later became known as the Ebony Blade after being cursed by Doctor Strange in 1984. The post credit scene also sets up some possible connections between Dane and Blade. For example, Dane might be related to Cersei, Chloe Zhao, who suggested that he should reconcile with his uncle, who might be another Black Knight, and learn more about his family history. Dane might also encounter some vampires or other supernatural threats that require him to use or wield the Ebony Blade. The post credit scene also leaves some questions unanswered. For example, why did Dane hear Blade's voice? Where was Blade when he spoke? How did he know about Dane's situation? What will happen next in Dane's journey as a Black Knight? These questions will likely be answered in future MCU projects. Dane Whitman, Black Knight 
He is a descendant of a medieval knight who inherited a cursed sword called the Ebony Blade. He was introduced in Eternals, where he met Cersei, one of the immortal beings who protected Earth from the Deviants. In the post credit scene of Eternals, he was about to touch the Ebony Blade when he heard a voice asking him if he was ready. The voice belonged to Blade, who is the only MCU character with a direct link to him. They might team up in the Blade movie to fight vampires or other supernatural threats, and possibly form the Midnight Suns, a group of heroes who deal with the occult. Bloodline. She is a young girl who discovers that she has vampiric powers and that Blade is her father. She debuted in Marvel Comics in 2022 and has an upcoming comic book run. She might be played by Milan Ray, who is rumored to have been cast in the Blade movie. She could provide a father-daughter dynamic to the plot and represent a younger generation of heroes in the MCU. Jamal Afari is a jazz musician and a vampire hunter who is Blade's mentor and surrogate father. He taught Blade how to fight and survive in the world of vampires. He was killed by Dracula, who turned him into a vampire and forced him to fight Blade. He might appear in Blade as a flashback or a resurrected enemy and reveal more about Blade's backstory and motivation. Hannibal King. He is a private detective and a former vampire whom Blade cured. He became Blade's ally and friend and helped him fight against Dracula and other vampires. Ryan Reynolds played him in Blade, Trinity, but he might be recast in the MCU. He could add some humor and charisma to the Blade movie and also connect to other MCU characters like Deadpool or Jessica Jones. Elsa Bloodstone. She is a monster hunter and an adventurer who comes from a family of hunters. She inherited a mystical gem called the Bloodstone, which gives her enhanced strength, speed, and healing. She has teamed up with Blade and other supernatural heroes in the comics and has a crush on him. She might appear in the Blade movie as a love interest or a rival to Blade and also introduce more monsters and magic to the MCU. Ghost Rider. He is a spirit of vengeance who possesses a human host and rides a flaming motorcycle. He has the power to inflict pain on anyone who has sinned and to use a chain and a shotgun as weapons. He has been a member of the Midnight Suns with Blade and other heroes and has fought against vampires and demons. He might appear in Blade as a cameo or a supporting character and also set up his own solo movie or TV show in the MCU. Deacon Frost. He is a vampire who is responsible for biting Blade's mother and turning Blade into a half-vampire. He is Blade's arch enemy and has tried to kill him many times. Steven Dorff played him in Blade, but he might be recast in the MCU. He could appear in Blade as the main villain or a secondary antagonist and also reveal more about Blade's origin and destiny. Dracula. He is the king of vampires and the most powerful and ancient of them. He has clashed with Blade and other heroes many times and has tried to conquer the world with his army of vampires. He was played by Dominic Purcell in Blade Trinity, but he might be recast in the MCU. He could appear in the Blade movie as a cameo or a surprise villain and also connect to other MCU characters like Doctor Strange or Moon Knight. And that's everything we know about Blade. Who will be the main villain of the movie? There are still many questions and mysteries that remain unanswered. Please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!